Hey guys, welcome to CRNT Designers, Chetan here. This is the hard surface topology part 2. So before moving toward the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe to the YouTube channel, then please subscribe it. And now let's get started. So add a cube and then go to the edit mode. Then select these faces and then extrude these faces like this. And then add supportive loop cuts because the supportive loop cuts, supportive edges are important to maintain the edge flow after adding the subdivision surface modifier because we will subdivide it so that's why supportive edges are important then add a subdivision surface modifier and you can see that's why we need a sub supportive edges so add a few more edges now you can see this topology is fine but we won't get that one loop all over the object so that's why we need to edit this topology so that's why I take a knife tool and create this cut like this and we need to maintain the chords first create cut like this Okay. So it's look good. Now we will edit the topology. You can see we get limit for the loop cuts for the edge flow so that's why we need to edit this so just select these edges and just dissolve this so you can see we maintain the chord shape right there okay that's why it's necessary to add the supportive loop cuts and now you can see one loop cut goes all around the object then add one more cube and then select these faces and then extrude these faces like this then add a supporting loop cuts to maintain the edge flow Then add a subdivision surface modifier. It's look good. But once again we face that limit for the loop cuts. So add two loop cuts right there and two loop cuts here. And now we just need to edit this topology one more time. So you can use a knife tool or select these words and right click and you will get convert uh, vertex path option. Connect vertex path option right there. Okay, so you will create something like this Then scale it, scale down this along the Z axis and use the symmetrize. So you will get the same topology at the bottom. And now we need to edit this topology. Just we are going to try here to maintain the chords. Few triangles are fine, but try to make the chords. But don't use the polygons or and try to reduce the poles. Poles means uh, five or more than edges comes uh, to single. Uh, flows toward the one point this call as a poles poles so just try to reduce the poles in your geometry in your model okay so just i this uh, de uh delete those uh, dissolve those edges which makes the triangles and here i am trying to make the chord shape 
God based topology. So that's why just you need to dissolve few edges and it will take a time to understand the topology. Now you can see it is a chord based mesh. So we need to add one loop cut here. It will work as a supportive loop cut supporting edge like this and we got chord shape. And then use the symmetrize to get the same topology at the bottom. And it's look good you can see. And you can see we get one loop cuts all over the geometry. If you add the, add the loop cut at the center then. And this is the right topology. Now we will try to create something amazing through this simple base mesh. Whenever you use the subdivision surface modifier, add supportive edges. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.